YouTube, Solo here with another unboxing video. Um, so today uh, we're doing something a little bit different. So I have been waiting for the Mio uh, Fantasy Series 2 figures to come in um, uh, so that I could unbox them. Um, this is actually my second order of those figures. The first order, unfortunately, failed to arrive. Um, but AliExpress did give me my money back, at least. Second order has a massive customs charge on them. So these are they. Um, I've ordered a set of three. So I'm just going to get them out. Two of the boxes are really, really, really dented, if you can see that. So I'm just really hoping that they're not broken. Um, but time will tell. Before we get into that, they have given me a cute little free gift. If you've watched one of my other, some of my other videos, I did get, um, I think with my, which one was it now? I think my plant little figures. I did get some freebies, which was a little white cat. And it appears I've got some more to go with this set here. So I've got a little grey one. I've got a black and white one. And I've got a kind of like a Persian looking one. Well, they're pretty cute. Let's just get them out so you can have a look. That is the one good thing about ordering stuff from AliExpress is they do sometimes the sellers will give you cute little freebies, which is always nice. Shove that out of the way. So if we have a look here, cute little grey one. Camera won't focus. Let's see whether we can get it to focus. There we go. Cute little grey cat figurine. Second one is a black and white one in a slightly different pose. And this is like a kind of Persian Siamese looking one. So yeah, they're quite cute as a little free gift. So I have been waiting for these to come in for what feels like forever. They're finally here. They've newly been released, um, which is why there was quite a delay on them. So, um, yeah, so if you have a look at my previous, um, some of my previous videos, I've got the Mio uh, Tea Time series. Now, these are made by the same company, MJ Studios, um, except this time this is a series two. So rather than being a tea time theme, these are actually um, a fantasy theme. So without further ado, I've got some scissors with me, I think, somewhere. Yes. Let's start with the first box. So obviously with anything like this, um, it's always nice if you don't get doubles, but you never can tell. Um, I mean, they're pretty well packaged. It's just that obviously wherever they've been, um, they've got squished. So these cost me cost wise from AliExpress uh, £28.50 for the set of three of them. Um, but unfortunately, I did get a massive customs charge whacked on there, and the custom charge was £14, so not ideal. And as you can see, oh, damaged box, not ideal. It does pop back out, kind of. So I'm just hoping that my figure isn't damaged. So these are Mio. Um, they actually say on the box, Fantastic World, if you can have a look there. So you get a variety of different ones. So you get... Um, if you can have a look here, I really like the wizard looking one. I quite like that one. Um, you get kind of like princess and the frog type one, kind of water lily one. Um, and you also get some standing up ones. I don't like the standing up ones as much as the sitting down variants, if you can see them there. But it says that there's eight different designs and a hidden edition. So... I'm assuming, like the previous series, there'll be the blind box and then the card that accompanies it. So, you can get these from AliExpress, as I said. They're MJ Studio. Um, Mio Tea Time cat figures. Well, no, not Mio Tea Time. Mio, Mio Fantasy cat figures. So, last time we got the blind box and then also a little card in there. Which states what they are. I can see the card, but I'm not going to look at the card as of yet. We're just going to go straight in. So let's see what we get. They feel pretty heavy. Oh, I've definitely got a sitting down one. Wow. Love this one. This is really nicely done. I think it's a 
yeah, it's got like a protective film around its head, which if you can, yeah, you can pop the heads off, <laughs> weirdly. But yeah, this is so cute. It's like a little, little water lily. Let me just pop the head back on. Yeah, so if you can see there, it's really, really nice, like really nice paint job. Um, the petals are all kind of made out of a sort of resin type, sort of see-through-y resin. It's got like a little planet on its head with a little star at the back, if you can see that there. Yeah, really impressed. Love the different two different eyes. It's got the MJ Studio uh, Neo um, kind of emblem on the bottom. And again, much like the previous ones, these have got such a good paint job on them. So really, really nice quality figures. This was one of the ones that I wanted. So I'm really glad that I've got that one as our first one. So if you have a look in the box, you've then got, as you can see, the card. Let me zoom in on that so you can have a look which then tells you, oh, well, it's, yeah, there you go. So that's the back of it. And then the card obviously shows you what you've got. Not sure, obviously, what it says there. Um, but yeah, really, really cute nonetheless. Really pleased with that one. So that's the first one. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. Get rid of the rubbish. Okay, and let's start on our second one. So this one is the other one that's slightly bashed up in the packaging. But it shouldn't be a problem as such. Oh, I seem to have a card in here. Um, I've had one of these little card things before from previous items that I've received from AliExpress. Not quite sure what the significance is there. But there you go. Cute all the same. So let's continue opening them. Obviously, you know, the seller has done their best to try to minimise damage, so completely not the seller's fault. And again, obviously, the customs tax on this, again, not the seller's fault. It's just one of those things, they get randomly picked. And obviously mine was randomly picked, but let's see. So all I'm hoping for, really, is that I don't get the same one again. I'd like a different ooh, variant. So here we go. Let's see what we get. This one. So pop that ooh, off the top. I've not opened that very well. Like so. It's a bit difficult to open them when they're kind of squished. So as you can see in there, it's got our bag again. I'm not looking at the card. It feels pretty weighty, pretty weighty. So let's see what one we've got. Oh, definitely a different one. Oh, wow. Let's just pop the head off of this so I can remove that. And wow, so here we've got one of the kind of almost geisha -y looking ones holding a lantern. Really nice how that isn't bent, actually, because it's kind of wobbly, um, but really nice kind of resin type there. Um, really nice. Oh, the head pops off again. <laughs> really nice face detailing. Um, seems to have like a little rabbit creature adorning the head. Um, re oh, I've just dropped something. Hold on. <laughs> so it appears that lantern is removable and I've just dropped it under the sofa. <laughs> I will get that in a moment. So yeah, really nice figure. If you turn it round, you've got the dress and also the tail, which is really nice. If you have a look on the bottom, you've got the Mio Tea Time emblem and also the feet of the figure. I have to say that they're really nicely made. So it kind of doesn't really matter which one you get. You get a really good uh, standard of figure. Um, and the, the kind of standard of paintwork on them um, is really, really consistent and really, really nice. I've lost the lantern. I'm going to go and find that in a minute. <laughs> but before I do, let's have a little look at our last one. So let's hope... Oh, it's our rate card. Forgot the card. So here's our card. 
which shows us which one we've got. Really nice. Right, last one. So let's hope that I don't get a copy of any of the other two. As long as I don't get a copy and the same variant. I really don't mind at this point. I did kind of want the uh, wizard one. But it's always a long shot asking for a specific one in these line bags. We just kind of have to see and hope for the best. So again, slightly dented box, but so far figures haven't been damaged. So you can't really say more than that. So here's our box. Let's open her up. See what we've got in here. Ooh. Honestly, mangling these boxes today. Okay. Don't want to see what our figure is. Oh. Here's our figure. And where do I open it? It's not got a pull tab on this one that I can see. Okay, never mind, scissors. Cut the top off. And let's open it. Oh, I think I've got a different one. Oh, yes, I have. Okay, wonderful. Let's just again pop the head off and remove that. And wow. Yeah, another lovely figure here. She's holding, don't quite know what that is. Um, it's not removable from what I noticed, like the other one. She's got a very fashionable beret. Um, if we turn around, she's got this, sorry, my cat's in the way. Uh, she's got these really, really cute uh, angel kind of fairy wings, which are really, really nice. If you have a look at the detailing on the bottom of her dress, the little pom-poms, that's really, really cute. Yeah, really nice again, really lovely, well-made figure and super, super impressed with the quality. Um, price tag-wise, obviously, because I've had to pay um, the extra kind of um, shipping costs and VAT. They've worked out really expensive this time, unfortunately. Um, however, still not regretting buying them at all. I think they're a really lovely collector's item, really nice figures. Um, if you haven't, go back and have a look at my Mio Tea Time um, sets that I did reviews of. They're also really nice. Oh, our card there, guys. They're also really nice um, and are obviously a little bit cheaper at the moment because of having obviously the second set be released. So they're a little bit cheaper than these ones. So I'd say that if you're a first time purchaser of these, go for, sorry, just sort my camera out. There we go. If you're a first time purchaser of these, I would probably go for the Mio Tea Time just because they're a little bit cheaper. Um, but as I say, these ones are really nice if you've already been collecting them and want to give these a go. So, as I've said, guys, if you want to get yourselves um, a set of these, you can buy them individually a little bit cheaper. Um, I got a set of three of these for £28.50. Obviously, I had to pay a little bit extra um, because of the shipping and the tax, which was a little bit annoying. Um, but, you know, generally you would pay the £28.50 for the set of three. AliExpress always have sales on. So go and have a little look. I'll pop the link uh, to these in the description below if you're interested. I uh, just want to say a massive welcome to all my new subscribers, for those of you that are watching. Um, and thanks also for the likes. Um, massive milestone. The channel's reached 150 views, which may not seem like much to obviously the big YouTubers out there, but considering I just do this for fun, 150 views on my videos um, collectively is massive. So thank you so much to all of you guys out there who are watching these videos. Uh, those 150 views are all thanks to you. Um, I've also hit my five subscribers um, milestone, which is also fantastic. So thank you to you guys who have chosen to subscribe. Um, really pleased that my videos are getting out there. People are watching, people are interested. If there is anything specific that you guys would like me to unbox, things that you, maybe you've spotted on AliExpress that you like the look of but haven't been um, you know, too keen on buying because you're a bit worried about the quality, pop it in the comments below. Um, just so I can get an idea of what things people want to see. 
um, and you know maybe we can unbox some of those things on the channel so that you can get a feel for what those items are uh, please like comment subscribe keep watching my videos it really does um, mean so much to me thanks so much for watching guys you've been watching flying solo and i will see all of you in the next video bye